So uh, we come now uh, to yet another amazing scene in the book of Revelation, and really what the book, uh, as Adam already alluded to, uh, what the book is really mostly known for, and that is the second advent, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. As our first verse in our text states, verse 11, it states that heaven is opened, and behold, there he is. Amen? Jesus in all of his glory. Every event in world history, every single story of scripture, all of what we have read about so far in the book of Revelation, it points to this moment. Jesus entering earth from heaven once again. It's what it's all about. It's what every single person, every single Christian who understands the gospel and loves and adores Jesus Christ, it's what we long for each and every single day. He is who we want to be with. All of us long for the day when we're going to just see him see him in all of his glory. We look forward to the day when our faith will become sight. We look forward to the day when, as it goes over in this text, when when evil and when sin is finally done away with and replaced with absolute perfection. We look forward to the day when we look up into the heavens, and there he is. That's what we look forward to. And there he will be to take us all away and to make all things right and new again. And so, because simply seeing Jesus is something that we all look forward to, and I trust that you do today, if you're in him today, is you know Christ as your personal Savior. It's something that we, look all, we all look forward to. I thought it would be a good idea to really camp out here and really examine what this text has to say about Jesus when he returns. I mean, how does this text...